Everyone, welcome back to the channel and some more Common Rider. So it's been forever since I reacted to any of it, but this is going to be the movie before we go right back into the episodes. So I'm going to do the movie, and then episodes are going to be released, and then that will slowly start catching me up with Common Rider. But I took a break because I went on like end of year vacation to visit my parent, and then after that I got sick, but I'm good now, and so I'm excited to get back into Common Rider, trying to catch up and finish the first season. So. We still have a decent amount of episodes to go, but before we do any of that, we have the movie, which is Kamen Rider vs. Ambassador, Ambassador Hell. So this will be Takashi Hongo and Ichimonji, I believe, is in it as well, versus Ambassador Hell, which is one of the generals. It's one of those things where they have a movie, but he doesn't die because he's obviously still in a, a few more episodes after that, so... This was a this is a relatively long movie, 36 minutes long, one of their longest so far, even though it's only the second movie. I'm probably going to skip around a bunch just to keep it relatively uniform, like anything that's not really fun, so treat it more like a supercut and stuff like that, just to make the editing easier on the video, but I'm excited, so without further ado, let's get right into it. Oh, it looks like his character is a Oh, Taki's in it too, okay, sweet. So we got Taki and Hongo, I wonder if... Each month is going to be in the Oh, they're really uh, far ahead. Alright, here we go. So we're going to try to blow them up while they're doing the race. They're in first and second place, so... Hmm, <laughs> that's their big plan? They just flipped it around, that's it? Oh my god. How much faster are the other guys? They could have easily noticed that. Okay, whatever. I guess they're going super quick then. But either way, okay, interesting. But there's still a trail on this side, so there is technically still a way for him to go over here. Yeah, do they know something's wrong, right? Yeah. Yeah, I was about to say, like, there's no way you wouldn't have noticed the helicopter. Those flashbangs? What is that? We're gonna blow up their motorcycles. Jesus, that's a full on bomb. Holy crap. Jumping so your pickup. Go for it. There you go. Come on, kick some ass, boys. Nice. Oh, okay, so they stole some costumes. That's good. Okay. Can you fly a helicopter? I know in Power Rangers they're government officials, but in Kamen Rider they aren't really. They're just regular people that can drive motorcycles, but I guess he can drive a helicopter. It's cool that they put the subs on, on the car, though. So are you going to let your buds know that it's you and they're driving the helicopter? <laughs> That's, that's pretty interesting, okay, so he's, like, like he's wearing a mask, so we put his hand over the thing, that's, that's a good idea. Shit. How do they always figure it out, dude? That's so unfair. They figure it out so quickly. Ooh, the smoke actually looks pretty good. Why would you take off your masks if it's poison gas? What? It'd probably be better idea with a mask on. What the hell is that? It looks like a beetle. A beetle man? Yeah, okay. Kabuto. Dude, 
Too bad it's not going to be gas that actually kills them because they want to keep them captured alive for some reason. Yeah, it's going to look like they're dead, but they're not really. Yep, they're gone. Really? Why are the two masks there, but their main outfits are not there? No crap, dude. And how is Taki still alive, by the way, if he doesn't have anything fancy like that? Come on, Taki. Beat some people up. Get some kills in. You barely have any kills for the series. Is Kabuto dead? That dude just did a somersault and died immediately. Like, he didn't know. Nobody hit him. Of course they have. How are they, how are they, where are they getting all those money and crap? Yeah, time to go. Run. Let's go. That door moved, dude. He put his full body weight in that plastic door. Like, if he goes one more, he can definitely break that door. Boom. They would already be dead. Boom. Building's dead. So I guess that means Kabutu is actually dead. Same with the other um, soccer soldiers, so take a shot. Okay, so we have another bad guy called Longhorn Kid that went down to, to steal our, our main boy. Okay, and the rider girl. That could start a fire. Yep. Oh crap, we got. So Kabuto is still alive then? Oh crap. Okay, so we have four monsters. Gotcha. There we go, we got four monsters. The other one died from the explosion of the building, so this is gonna be probably the four that he kills in the Shaksha movie. It looks like they're all beetle types mostly. Is he just full on choking him? Jesus. <laughs> He's just full on telling him? Oh shit, so Longhorn Kid killed him. Alright, that's one kill for Longhorn Kid, I guess. Where are the other two monsters at? It's just Longhorn Kid and those two other monsters. It's weird seeing everybody driving motorcycles though. It's kind of funny. He barely touched him and he freaking flew. Okay, and there's like a rhino and a leopard chasing him. I can't remember a actual name. I'm just gonna call him YC. And... Oh, there they are. <laughs> Where the hell do they get freaking horses? Jesus Christ. <laughs> they just showed up randomly with horses, dude. It must have been so weird and funny to film. And there goes Taki just parachuting in like a boss. Don't scream it out loud, you freak. Oh, by the way, he hasn't actually been killing any of the monsters. They just disappear. Like, they just don't show up for the rest of it. Like, the leopard and the rhino just completely just vanish. I skipped through a bit of it, but I went back. And it just... They don't die or anything, which is kind of disappointing. I mean, this might be the only um, Common Rider movie without kills so far. Which is kind of weird. 
We still have like 10 guys left, dude. Why are you withdrawing? It's a lot of horses, though. Probably had extra money in the budget, so I, let's get some horses. <laughs> I do not see him if he has a freaking horse, dude. What the heck? Oh, here we go. Yep, we got some monsters. Here we go. Fighting in the snow and everything. Interesting final fight scene. Awesome. So I assume each monkey's gonna come in and help out or something. I'm just gonna count when they, whenever they blow up. That's when I know they're dead. By the way. I hope Taki gets some kills in. Oh my god, with a freaking sword. There you go, there you go, there you go. Beat him up, beat up the flying squirrel. It looks like Hongo's using the, the pipe thing. He hasn't taken one of the swords yet. We're just straight up falling down the mountain. Jesus, like six of them are chasing after him, holy crap. Come on, change up, you freak. You're not, you're not gonna actually kill him if you don't change. There you go. He's probably gonna change right after this. Oh, that was a fun jump. Nice. Yep, there we go. Okay, he's gonna transform. I guess we're not gonna have any Ichimanji. If he's not gonna show up, then... Like, if he didn't show up earlier, then I guess he's never gonna show up. Alright, that's our first kill from the monster. Boom! We got some kills in six minutes left. Awesome. And that's three right there, baby. Nice. He barely touched that dude. I wonder how much how much painful it was filming this with since they were all slipping and sliding all over the place. That's why he sent Taki over there. And you guys didn't even stop him. So I don't know what happened to the three monsters that went down the mountain, but he has three confirmed kills and then three monsters are MIA. So I don't know where the rest of them are right now. Where's Taki at, though? Only four minutes though, so I guess we're not going to have any Kamen Rider 2. Okay, so he's confirmed killed three of them. There's like nine other monsters that we never saw die, so I'm not going to count them. I'm just gonna count it as that he slipped away. And this was our main monster that showed up in this movie, so he's probably gonna die at the end. Alright, easy peasy. Here we go, boom, blown up. Nice. Alright, that's the stronghold. He's easily finished off. They're just rolling around like a pier hose. What the heck? Here we go, Longhorn Kid is going to be the final guy. So I'm going to count those three dudes that were in the building with Ambassador Hell as Kamen Rider kills because of they showed up. And I'm going to count them as um, halves. So there was six people that were inside the building. So there's two people that looked on the mountain and then those four people that were inside that building. I'm going to count those as kills for both Kamen Rider and Taki. Because they both they both helped out on the kill, so I'm gonna split them up three and three. So Taki got three kills this episode, which makes me really happy. Coming around here so far at six, but after he kills Longhorn Kid, it's gonna be seven. Oh, he actually took took one of the rider abilities. Nice. Is he gonna rip off his horns? Just, oh Jesus! Yeah, holy crap! Yeah, he just punched it off completely. Wow, this is like crazy POV. He's beating the shit out of him. Oh my god. Boom. Seven for Kamen Rider, three for Taki, baby. Nice. And no Kamen Rider 2 at all. I really thought he would show up. 
Oh, man, you can end the movie straight there, okay? <laughs> That's kind of funny. All right. All right, now with that, Kamen Rider 1 has 135 kills, and Taki has 17 kills. Kamen Rider 2 never showed up. I really thought he would, but that's fine, too. It makes it more focused. And there was 12 monsters, like 15 monsters showed up in this episode, but only three were killed on screen. So I'm not going to count any of the other guys. And the guys that were blown up in the building, I'm going to count as kills, like I said. So three goes to Taki, and then three goes to Kamen Rider 1, since they helped blow up the building. So that's how I'm going to do it right there. And so, yeah, I think that's going to be it for this movie. It was pretty fun. Um, there was a lot of parts that you could skip, and there was a lot of random parts, too, like those horses showing up randomly, and then the monsters, like, riding motorcycles and stuff like that. Looks like they really tried to throw in whatever they could, whatever budget they had, like, just buying, like, 12 horses, <laughs> which was kind of strange, but I liked it. It was fun. Interesting movie, and I think that's going to be it from me. I will see you next in the super cut for Common Rider 69 to 78, I believe, and thank you, so thank you, everyone, for watching, and have a great day. Thank you, everyone, for watching. If you want to support me, like, and subscribe to the YouTube channel for more content for me and also leave a comment down below on what you think i should react to next if you want to support me on patreon you can do so and you'll get early access to videos there's also be polls so you can vote on what you think i should react to next and also if a video ever gets blocked or there's an active community strike against it i'll take it down off of youtube and i'll put it on patreon and i'll link it to my daily motion over there with the same channel name as the one i have currently so time to stand so just look it up and you can see all the videos over there so right now, Squid Game is purposely on Daily Motion, and there's a two gig uh, maximum. So it's basically chopped up into a bunch of parts. But I made a playlist with it, and so you can find the links all to that in my Patreon. And yeah, that's gonna be it. So thank you for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Have a great day.